I really don't know. The funniest one... I can't remember right now. The strangest one? Or the, the, most, or just the one of which you are most proud of? Uh, one of the stories I'm most proud of is a story about uh, corruption. Corruption uh, with the stipendies for the students. Yeah. Uh, from the president's uh, foundation, okay. and I investigated uh, some of the children of the ministers from the cabinet of government get those stipendies, stipendies, stipendium, stipendium, and that some really good students are not get that stipendies and that make uh, a lot of noise in our public. Um, I don't really have such stories. <laughs> Actually, they were all pretty serious and um, depressing. <laughs> Other say educations of, of journalism can be really useful, like this one. It's really useful, useful things uh, how to develop uh, your skills, uh, to find uh, information by internet. I think this kind of education can be really useful for, for, for journalists here and it's excellent chance to develop quality first of all to 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 learn something new and then to develop quality of our programs of our media newspapers magazines or whatever um, why did you apply for this program for investigative journalism uh, because during my work uh, i realized that most interesting thing in journalism is is our investigate. Uh, many times I have a problem during the investigation because uh, here people in Bosnia, not people, common people is okay, but the government and all kind of people are very um, why, uh, what is it? Why is it? Very, very difficult when you get, uh, when, when you need to find something that they, they actually they are not uh, like like in your country. You know, you, you must use uh, all the kind of different tools to get information from them. I don't know, meet people from who are work with them. I don't know, for example. But mostly, I apply for this seminar because of uh, I'm working for uh, web. I, I'm I'm online online journalist now, you know, and I'm doing research about the mine clearing in in Bosnia Herzegovina. Mm -hmm. You know, and I need all kind of information in different organizations who are working here in Bosnia to, uh, to get that information. The problem is because we have a lot of, lot of organizations, but they actually don't, don't have a money or don't have a news, you know, when, when you go to their website. I'm actually, uh, I don't know, I, I want to know all the, all the tools, how do you... Uh, uh, get information to the internet without going somewhere because most of the time I must go to see that people and, and find something. Uh, no. uh, well, it's difficult to make generalizations, but I mean some are, but um, many journalists uh, quite often don't have the time or uh, some don't even see the need uh, for that kind of uh, education. So it's always um, a challenge to really, you know, uh, bring across the point that uh, training will, you know, make their work more efficient and so forth. If you could change one thing about journalism here, what would it be? Only one thing. Yeah. I don't know, I would like uh, to see only one independent uh, newspaper, television, radio here in Bosnia. You don't have uh, independent medias here. Uh, the 
public, uh, uh, public services are under government control and the commercial services are under control of the companies uh, which are paying uh, commercials on their programs and you don't have a independent media here. Hmm, maybe journalistic mind, mind of journalists, maybe. Maybe we should think like um, Western European journalists. We should have a mind like journalists from Western Europe. We should be faster sometimes. We should be more precisely sometimes. We should be somewhere around, not really somewhere at the reduction inside. We should be previously, first of all, somewhere um, outside. Spokesperson, public relation officer, yeah, spokesman maybe, or, or yeah, or, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I would like it's a it's like journalism from uh, the other side. Yeah. For example, now I'm 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 writing. Uh, Articles. When you are uh, spokesperson, you will write press releases, public relations. Yeah. Okay. I, I was working as a public relations officer for one youth organization. It's called Youth Innovation Agency, and I'm doing a lot of projects for uh, many organizations, PR activities. It's a very uh, good for me. It's, you know, it's a easy money. You don't do something. But, I don't know. You are just relaxing. You are creative. You are a good speaker. You are. I don't know. It's, it's good for me. Also in marketing, it's interesting because it's creative. Because I have a lot of the idea. I, I like also that. That. Probably an environmental activist or something like that. Basically, that's what I'm very interested in. It's also yeah. the environment. So, um, yeah. But I, I also like journalism, and I, uh, I love communications. I really like uh, media and writing about them and reading about them. So I'm quite c content with doing what I do. I had a very interesting comment from one of the participants uh, uh, during the lunch today because I, I was I'm trying to tell you know the timeline of the Norwegian media in the 70s and even in the 80s the Norwegian newspapers were all connected to political parties the it was a strong polarization among the news media uh, there was a lot of uh, political propaganda in the newspapers and there is a link between that and the situation here now. And this uh, girl, she said, oh, I was a little bit sorry when you said that we will not have an uh, independent press until like 30 years. I, I will not wait this long. And I asked, how old are you? Yeah, well, she was 23. Okay, you will have a free press when you are 53. Aren't you satisfied? Yeah, that, that was a quite a <laughs> pessimistic <laughs> interpretation. I, I think it will, I think it will uh, go much faster because there is an integration now. There is an integration in the world. Uh, the European uh, Union will uh, uh, demand a lot of new standards for transparency and openness in, in uh, society. So uh, I think it will happen much faster than 30 years.